Everything all right in here, Wayne? Yeah. Wayne, were you just smashing pots and pans together and screaming at the top of your lungs? Are you sure, Wayne? Oh, hi. Wayne, you can't be doing that. We've got company. It wasn't me. Well, who was it then, Wayne? Somebody else. Wayne, somebody was smashing pots and pans together and screaming at the top of their lungs. Good man. Ah. Wayne, you've got to stop listening to the voices in your head. They're terrible influences. I don't have voices in my head. Heavens to Betsy, Wayne. They're not very loud, anyways. You're a right disappointment, you are. We should have chucked you out of the wagon when we had the chance, Wayne. Ah. Wayne, we've got company. I can't have you behaving this way with company. What's next? Banging pots and pans and screaming at the top of your lungs on a giraffe? No. You think I want that? You think I can have that happening when there's company? What are you thinking, man? I forgot about the company. I worry for you, Wayne. You concern me. You frighten me. And to be perfectly honest, the missus is none too keen on you either. I can see I've really upset you. Where'd you get those pots and pans, Wayne? Did you steal them from Mother's closet? We'll never do such a thing. That's unacceptable, Wayne. You'll have to be punished now. Dickens. That's just no excuse, Wayne. I can't keep putting up with this. What am I to do? Uh. I'll be writing a letter to the headmaster. I'll be informing him to expel you. I'll have you kicked from the house. Uh. Yes, I'll write grandmother. I'll tell her you're not to come there. You'll be excluded. You'll have nothing and no one. Is that what you want, Wayne? Sorry to have hurt your feelings. We've got company! Ah, not the company. You can't go around smashing pots and pans and screaming at the top of your lungs when there's company. Couldn't have been me. Oh, it wasn't you. Who was it then, Wayne? There's someone else in here. I don't see anyone else in this room. Have you got people over? Have you got your own company? They went out the window. Your own company doesn't sound like very nice sort of people if they're smashing pots and pans and yelling at the top of their lungs. When I've got company! Didn't know we had company. Wayne, don't take that tone with me, Wayne. I didn't. I knew. I told the missus I said we should never have a child. Especially when we've got company. And now look what you've done. Boy, awfully sorry. Wayne, the company is leaving. You've made them leave. You've scared them off, Wayne. I didn't mean to. Absolutely useless. I can't take you anywhere. You're always producing pots and pans from various orifices, smashing them together and screaming at the top of your lungs. It's, it's, I just, I can't have it anymore, Wayne. I don't know what's come over me. Wayne, listen to me. You listen here and you listen good and you listen with your ears. I won't put up with this anymore. I'm giving you one last chance and after that you're grounded for eternity. And if that doesn't help, it's the firing squad. All right? I'd rather not be uh, shot at. I don't want to have to do it, but I will. I'll call up the army. I'll have the American army fly over. They'll set up a firing squad and it'll be off to see the queen with you and your stupid pots and pans. God save the queen. All right, we cook with those, man. We can't have them banged up, dented. We can't have them yelled on. It's not right, it's not proper, all right? Now, go back to your studies, all right? I love you. Behave.